What's up YouTube? It's Angie, the Neon X, and I'm finally back. Um, it's been a while since I've made one of these. Uh, I think when I checked, it was a good four months since my last upload. Uh, a lot has happened in that time, namely new job, uh, changes in the family, things along those lines. So I, I didn't really have the time to uh, put forth the energy to make these videos as I used to be able to do before. But you know, all good things come to those who wait and I did wait and I must say I have missed doing it. So without further ado, this is what I'm into. Not everybody scream, not respect to the ex. Not respect given. Well, as you've probably guessed by now, my new job involves me driving a very large, long public bus. I started on the school bus. Now, I'm on the elongated, articulated bus, as they call it. Um, wonderful experience. And due to the type of brakes that I get on this job, I'm finally able to make more of these lovely YouTube videos. Well, first things first, let me update you on the device that actually gave my channel some traction my Surface Duo. Now, recently I've seen on the web and such that a lot of, I don't know if you'd call them fire sales, but the Duo itself has dropped in price significantly for those who are still trying to purchase one. Uh, if you are in the market, this might be probably the best time. I've seen them going for as low as $400 for a lot at and 128 gig variant. Um, personally, I would love to buy uh, another one, but this device, all these months later, is still my go to device. But unfortunately, I don't want it locked. I, if I do make a purchase of a, another duo, which I'm truly considering, it would have to be an unlocked. Uh, 256 gig but I just want to share w w with you what I've learned using the duo while at work well one of the first things I would like to share w with you is my current service duo workflow checklist these are the physical accessories I bring to work with me every day to get the most out of my duo. This here is the Kensington Duo Smart Click. I think that, that's what it's called. Now I pretty, pretty much keep this with me at all times. It fits the duo so well. You can latch it in place so I think this is more for when you don't have the bumpers on but it still works it holds it in place it, it, it does not slip and it slips right onto your belt giving you easy access to your duo whenever you may need it also we have here Microsoft surface headphones now these aren't the surface head head these are not the Surface Headphones too. Um, actually, I don't think I even did a, not a review on these. So since I got these, I haven't done anything on YouTube. But uh, I really, or I always did like it. I always did like the dial functionality of the Surface Headphones. One side is the volume, easy to turn the volume up or down. The other side is the ambient noise. 
you can turn it up, down, all the way to noise canceling. And it's just a very easy to use headphone. They sound great, they fit great. And you can't deny how sweet the matching logos are. Next, of, of course, my bamboo stylus pen. These work with uh, most touchscreen devices. I, I used to use it on my LG V60. Now it's used on my Service Duo. Never leave home without it. You never know when you may need to take notes, when you may have a quick burst of inspiration. Being able to jot your notes down quickly and easily, especially with the note-taking ability of the Duo, makes this tool indispensable. Last but not least, when I'm on my downtime, I know I've shown this before, but till this day, it still gets used. I don't, what's his name? Yep. Yeah. This is the iPega smartphone or smart device controller. It can go from a smaller device like the Duo to a much larger device like an iPad or a tablet or a larger tablet. Makes playing uh, things like the Xbox Game Pass and Stadia and even a more common mobile games a cinch. Uh, just so easy to connect and gives you a, that tactile experience that at least for me, really brings me into the game. Now, for those of you who have watched my videos before, you know um, I love doing the Service Duo tips and tricks. This isn't a tips and tricks video, but more so a video about the apps that have stayed with me, that I continue to use even after the tips and tricks tricks now to start with every morning my hours for this job vary it's not get up at eight every day or get up at seven every day sometimes it's, it's get up at 3 a.m to be here for four sometimes it's get up at 6 30 to be here for eight to keep up with these random times they asked me to come in with huge huge digital clock has been my savior now i first showed this clock when the first uh, when the phone first came out and the reason for it was when i first got the phone i did say i would love to get a large clock that i could use as a my bedside clock so that when I'm going to bed it's easily visible easy to set and a color that I like huge digital clock is all of those things and I've used this app every single night since I've got it especially once I got this job I keep the phone plugged in at the side I have Various alarm set, they're easy to set, and the clock is this really nice shade of purple. I love purple. You can set it to be whatever color you might want, but to me, this is an indispensable tool that you can use on your Surface Duo. Simple yet effective. Large digital display that you can use as an alarm clock, or perhaps you are one that likes to. I don't know. Perhaps you were one who likes to have your clock going while playing some music in the background. This I have also done. You, you want some music to go to bed with, maybe to wake up with, or just while you're doing something, you want to have access to the time and your playlist due to the duos, duels, dual screen modes. I've had my clock up here, my music down here.
and it's just easy to use both. The next app that I consistently use, uh, especially during my downtime, is ScreenLock Pro. Now, this was the app that you were able to customize the sounds and style of what happens when your screens turn off, uh, when they turn on, how they turn off, various things, just to, you know, liven up how your Duo or other device does its uh, screen offs and all of that. Screenlock Pro just makes it very easy for me to focus on the video I am watching with a simple swipe. The secondary screen turns off and I can focus on whatever show I'm watching at the time. This movie is Dynasty Warriors Love the Game. They have a movie, you know, I have to check it out. Yeah, but Screen Lock Pro is used every time I watch something just to turn off the, all, all, all the screens so I can conserve some power. So the, the Duo will run through its power reserve pretty quick if both of those screens are constantly going. And if you're not using both of them, you might as well turn one of them off. Now, I'm not always watching something. There are times where I like to improve my mind and I read. And the app I use for that on the Duo is this app here called Read Era Premiere. Now, Read Era Premiere can expand to both screens easily enough you're able to store all of your books whether it's from a PDF from a store it puts them all in one easy to find area whatever you might be reading at at that time you can go in here you have your books your documents your favorites it's all there and you're able to just go through it and just select what you're trying to read at any time and have it easily accessible to you. Now, another app that I have been using since I told you about it is the Bass Booster app. It allows me to use my headphones and just easily adjust how they sound because not all music sounds the same with these same settings. So I put this beside my uh, Spotify app and as I'm playing whatever song, I just adjust as I need right here and it works out great. If I want to have, if I want to have e e even more control over what I'm hearing, I open the app and just as ease easily I can get into it and adjust my music how I want to hear it especially with the duo because it has it has the ability to access all of the Bluetooth codex so if your he Bluetooth headphones need a certain type of codex to play the duo can connect and get you that sound you need and you just need something like this to fine tune it to make sure you're having that near perfect audio experience from your device. Screen orientation. That's the app that allows you to move your screen however you would like to. Even uh, apps that don't like to be reoriented in any particular way, this app allows you to do that. Um, as you can see, this means it's free, but if I press any of these here, my whole phone just flipped because you force the orientation of the device to fit your needs. And that goes for any app as well. Now, another app that I love to use, but again, I love to take notes, quick memo. What this allows for you to do is just take a note on your screen. Well, I don't, I don't like this 
color so you guys can see larger strokes okay screen time what it does is you quickly flick down your menu you you go into quick memo and you can just quickly take the note right on the screen no need to go into any app or find your app i think i have three note taking apps but for Quick notes, I mean really quick notes. Oh, someone is telling you something and you just need to jot it down real real quick. This is always here. Pull it down, click it, right. Works very well as you can see. You can save, you can go back, you can change it to transparency, all types of little things depending on, on what you want. I don't just leave it, but to each their own. And it works wonderfully. When you're done, you save it. And it is now shared or saved to your gallery. Yes, there are some little uh, ads that can't be helped, but it is what it is. And, and once you have uh, saved your note, as you can see, let me just find it really quick for you. Here. Screenshot captured. And there it is, the note that I took, it's right there, ready, ready for me to share, in case uh, someone was telling me something, and I wanna write down the time, send it to my wife, cause I know I just might for, for forget, boom, boom, share, and you are free to go, wait. Share, and you can share it to whatever apps you want to share, to Outlook, whatever, it, it's all there, very quick and easy. And though I haven't been able to write as much as I'd like to, every now and then, like I say, when I hit with some inspiration or motivation to add a line or two or, or to change something, I always pull out Microsoft Office on the Duo and I'm able to just continue where I left off on my iPad or on my PC. Again, the Duo is just such a great all-in-one device. It never really made sense for me to ever stop using it the way that I did. Well, that's it for now. Just wanted to update you guys on what I've been doing and how my service Duo has been doing and what I use on my service Duo to keep it doing what it does so well. So with that said, my name is NG, the Neon X, and the service Duo at work this is the one I'm into.